Hi everybody, so I haven't made a video in a really long time. Um, the last one I made was when I was telling everybody that my father had passed away on January 14th this year. Um, you know, he ended his battle with Alzheimer's. Um, and I just wanted to make a quick video because I have a lot of people that comment on the videos that I've posted of my dad in the past when I went to um, visit him. Um, I would take video sometimes I went there, sometimes I didn't, um, and it wasn't the whole time I was there. Um, the reason I did these videos was for people to see the progression of Alzheimer's. So people can kind of take um, a step in my shoes. Um, and I did that because I knew what Alzheimer's was, but I didn't know what it was. Um, what I mean by that is um, I knew what Alzheimer's dementia was, and to me it was, um, oh, they forget things. Uh, they forgot where their keys were, they forgot a story they just told, and that is really, honestly, all I knew about it, you know? To me, it was, you know, somebody forgetting things. When my father was diagnosed, um, I had to learn more about it. I didn't know what I needed to know about it. Um, and as he progressed, I learned more. I got very involved with the Alzheimer's Association New York City chapter. Um, I was actually um, part of the opening ceremony at one of their walks in Queens um, in honor of my father. And I volunteered with their Queens, commun um, their Queens um, community. I also did annual Alzheimer's fundraisers that I organized myself. I would do it in um, a club and I would have celebrity appearances, I would have celebrity performers, I had sponsors that donated tons of things that we would raffle off, and everything I raised at the door with the raffle went to the Alzheimer's Association New York City chapter. Um, I didn't keep any of it because I didn't want to because I did it for the cause to bring awareness, to raise money. Um, and, you know, I haven't really been on YouTube reading many of the comments because they are on videos of my dad, and it has been really hard for me since he's been gone. Actually, um, this past Friday, um, we buried his ashes, um, and, you know, it all became final. So I just really haven't been able to look at the videos and going on to read the comments would obviously bring me to the videos um, but I did tonight and I was reading some of the comments and some of the comments are amazing and wonderful comments from people um, people that have been watching all the videos I've posted of my dad and I really appreciate you know the kind words and the support and then there are people that are very opinionated, um, can be very cruel. Um, I've had people call me not nice names. Um, I've had people tell me I'm a horrible daughter and what I was doing wrong and what I should do. And, you know, as much as I want to blast back at them, <laughs> I try to do it in the nicest way possible because I do understand that a lot of these people are ignorant in the subject. Um, and there's no other better way to put it. Um, I've had people that said um, they volunteer and they know about Alzheimer's because they volunteer. Which is right. You might know about Alzheimer's because you volunteer with people that are suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia. But just because you volunteer doesn't mean you really know. Um, and these people never said they had family with Alzheimer's um, or they've lived 
through dealing with someone they love who has Alzheimer's, they just know because they're around people that have Alzheimer's. Um, it, to me, it's totally different. Um, when you volunteer, yes, your heart is there, hopefully, if you're a volunteer, um, and that's why you're volunteering, but it's not your mom. It's not your dad. It's not someone that you love unconditionally and you're watching them diminish. You're watching every part of their life that they once knew be disappeared right in front of your face. You're not watching them or talking to them and and know that yeah, that's my dad, but he doesn't know I'm his daughter. You don't know that. So until you can live that, which I hope you never do because it's a horrible disease, but if you don't know that feeling, don't judge people who do because you don't know what they do. You don't know what they feel and you don't know what they're going through, nor do you know how hard it is to watch somebody that you love disappear right in front of your face. So that's, you know, that's really all I have to say on that subject. Um, a lot of people also questioned me questioning him all the time. Now, my dad, especially towards the end, his awareness was gone. His focus was gone. Um, if I'm sitting, when I was sitting right in front of him, if I didn't interact with him constantly, within a few seconds, he didn't even realize I was there anymore. Um, so yes, I did ask him tons of questions. I was there to stimulate his mind. I was there to let him know I was there. Even if he didn't know it was me, which he did not know who I was for a while, um, he knew someone was there. Someone was talking to him. I could ask him, Dad, are you hungry? He could blank, blank stare me um, as if he didn't even hear me. Dad, are you hungry? Yes. I get the food out. What is that? Are you hungry? Yes. What are you eating? What am I giving you? This is what I have. He's a human being. You know, I responded to one of my posts and I said to a woman, because she was saying how um, I kept showing him the food, um, or something to that effect, um, and just put it in front of him and leave it. Why would I do that? I'm giving him food. I want him to know there's food there. I could put a plate in front of my father and he wouldn't even know it was there. Nor would he know what to do with it. So I responded to one of her posts and I said, you know, if you had a child, would you put them, you know, and I'm talking an infant, 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 baby, baby. Would you put them in a high chair and just put a plate of food in front of them and just leave it there and just hope that they can figure it out? You know, when you have Alzheimer's, you're reverting back to a child, basically. Um, I mean, I know when my son was a baby, I wouldn't just put a plate of food in front of him and hope he figured out I should eat this. I should put this in my mouth. This is for me to eat. No, I helped him. I guided him. And that's what I did for my father. So, you know, some people don't like what I did in my videos. And that's everybody has their own opinion. But there's no need to be nasty. There's no need to act like a child and call me names. You don't know me. Um, you know what I show you in my videos. And if you don't like it, stop watching. Um, <laughs> that's honestly all I have to say. Um, if, if you don't like it, go to the next video. Um, and that's basically it. All right. Thanks.